that. I, Me neither. Julin and Rulin. Uh, that would be. What if I said that out loud? Say it. Well, you did say it out loud. Well, yeah, but I was like, why I was just kind of riffing and thought it was funny. I'm just kind of riffing. Kind of making fun of you. Julin yeah. and Rulin. Julin and Rulin. You have to make fun of yourself when you jewel. Really. My sister jewels, and we all make fun of her for it. Yeah. It's so stupid, but. What's so much worse is smoking, I think. Is it, though? Maybe not. I, so, well, I'll, I'll say this. The From the smell. very get-go, when Julian came out, the biggest the biggest debate, right, was, like, everyone was trying to convince themselves that Julian was 10 times better than smoking. Oh, and I don't, I don't think it is. You still have 3% to either, depending on which one you get, 3 to 5% nicotine and... I, I don't just know if it was a nicotine for you. I don't know, but all I know is later on, uh, a bunch of uh, what's it called? Research came out. Wow, a bunch wow. of this is gonna be a rough day. A bunch of research came out saying that <laughs> Julian actually created more liquid in your lungs or something. I'm sure it like, like crystallizes I something don't, like this. I don't know. Something turns scientific. Your, it turns your lungs to glass. I heard, <laughs> which made it worse. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> but you know what? In these Suck times, down that jewel. I'm telling you, like. I don't know what it is, but I need, I've never jeweled before the quarantine. Yeah. Cause I was like, I don't know. I just needed something to like, to like get calm my, you? calm me. And I used to smoke. I smoked forever. Did you? So like, I, I only smoked, smoked when I would drink, like drank a lot. So you never got lot. to a point where you like got no. a pack of cigarettes. And honestly, and like, when I was younger and it depends sometimes even now, sometimes I smoke just to it's either it's like to pass the time a little yes. bit. So I'm not drinking. Yes. Instead. Right. And 100%. a lot of times I'm not fully inhaling. Sometimes I, yeah, I, yeah. I will a little, I'll, I'll go through the nose. But yeah, yeah. A lot of times I'm not really fully breathing it into my lungs. It's almost and just then, like holding it, like having some hold. And it's like literally every something once that creates more time for me not to be drinking which is why i used to do it before like when i was younger and all okay. the guys would go out smoking yeah it would give me a break from drinking because you know how you're talking and drinking and having yes, your hand on stop yes, and it gets yes. worse and worse you could you know you can't bring your drink outside so i'd go outside talk with the guys it'd be chill right you can actually finally hear each other and have a cig I know. slow it down a little and I go know. back in even though that probably doesn't make anything better <laughs> no it <laughs> like, makes so that's like one the other too is we're like drinking in the neighborhood and then like the kids are all playing and it's like late and we're like wanting to smoke and it like smells and it's like the, I don't know there yeah. was there's a lot of <laughs> reasons why I do I do hate the fact that now I have to like stop jeweling the way that I had to quit smoking <laughs> like I'm like are you kidding me I don't think I I don't think no matter what though when you say jeweling it, it smoking still sounds cooler Oh yeah, Julian and Rulin is doesn't. That's not. <laughs> should I say it more and then maybe it'll maybe, get cooler? Maybe like Lady Boner, it'll just, just will grow. Julian and Rulin, Julin baby. And Rulin. It sounds like you're saying drooling. It's so gay, dude. But like you aren't pronouncing it right. It's so stupid. I used it to looks smoke better. Uh, I don't know. No, I used to smoke <laughs> these ones. They're called Enjoy. I don't think they're around anymore. But it it looked like a little cigarette. Oh okay. But yeah. was still a vape like this, like a one a one use. I've seen that. Right. I feel like. That I can do. The, oh. Yeah. No. But like, who, who is anyone to judge? We all have our own I fucking know. vices. You know what I mean? I know. Like, whatever. And anything about, like, anything enough of it is bad. Even fucking working out. You can get rhabdo. You can get what? You never heard of it? No, what is this? Crossfitters get it all the time. It's rhabdo. It's when you, I, now, don't, I just, is kind of like a guess based upon what I know a little bit. Not the scientific term, but when you work out so much and you don't feed your body enough fuel and doesn't have like the proteins, fats, yeah. and carbs that it needs, it starts just literally, your body needs that energy yeah. from somewhere. So it starts eating your organs. See? It's called fucking rhabdo. It's like your body eating See? itself because it's not getting enough nutrition. And that's why I don't work out. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like everything's For fear scary. rhabdo. Fear, fear of rhabdo because I know I would just take it to the limit. <laughs> you, would, no. oh, no. you would have rhabdo every workout. Oh, every workout. Oh, I mean, there I goes, go, there I goes, goes Jesse. I go rhabdo myelosis, whatever, however you <laughs> say it. Rhabdo If you um, say it fast enough, it sounds official. Welcome to drinking broettes. Mm -hmm. Um, I welcome, just want to welcome. touch on a little bit our last um, or the episode that we did about uh, just George Floyd and yeah. celebration of life. 
I wanted to say that I have really been loving mm -hmm. seeing how much everyone I know is posting uh, about Black Lives Matter and talking about it. I very We're having rarely conversations now. Yes, I very rarely. I don't think I've seen an All Lives Matter in a long time, mm -hmm. which is great. I think people finally understood with that explanation i don't know if billy eilish started it or whoever but basically stating hey you know black lives matter and saying all lives matter doesn't work it's like saying that hey my house is on fire and they're like but all houses matter like hey fire department put out my yeah like deal with my house it's like well your house isn't currently on fire yeah right so um it sucks that there needed to be like a very simple explanation for like hey bro like we know all lives matter. That's not the issue right mm -hmm. now. And or, or it sucks that there was another death that had to really wake up everyone to this. Yeah, and I was Black saying Black Lives Matter. I movement. was saying on the show too, like I don't know why this one was so powerful. But even you know the head of the NAACP was like, I don't know why this one got me too, but it really did. Mm -hmm. And I think this video in particular this person this time this whatever mm -hmm. it really seemed to have wake waken up woken up a lot more people than let's just say eric garner mm -hmm. or you know what i mean these other videos ferguson things like this that was 2016 mm -hmm. um when ferguson happened and that was like huge but still there was people being like you know blue people, lives matter yeah. all lives matter well, I'll like say this. he was a bad kid people that I think that's the thing as sad as it fucking is people have had conversations with me and have been like you know what I think one reason why which is sad but it's true that this one like really hit everyone is because it was black and white there was no gray area there wasn't like oh, oh well, he did this he wrong, was kind of or he was this he right? had a weapon he no, was like it was like no life. like he was fucking yeah. cold-blooded murdered we all saw it and even so, the, the worst part is even after the fact, people try bringing up his history and his rap sheet or, the, you know, that he did, like, he committed a crime or whatever it was. And it's like, okay, and that has no justification at all. And that should never determine that someone dies the way that they did. Ever. And, and by the way, I don't, that's the other thing, too. And someone wrote to us, too. It was just like, you made him sound like a saint. It's um, called a celebration of life. You celebrate right. the good parts of their life. We're not sitting there going down a rabbit hole of their past. But I think the point is, it doesn't matter if he was a bad guy. No. Like, even if you told me, even if we said on the show, like, he had three different kinds of methamphetamine in his system, what he did. Mm -hmm. He was trying to use a $20 bill. He was, you know, not in a good place. He was aggressive before. All of that does not matter. Like, you don't need to make him seem like a saint to make this a bad situation Correct. um if someone and you is also subdued don't have to in handcuffs on the ground it doesn't matter how fucked up they were before now they go to jail it's they called don't die innocent till proven guilty it's not the cop's choice it's not our choice it's no one's choice to take someone's life into their own hands and determine whether that person should live or fucking die that is why we have the law and the judicial system like not and so that was the only thing that kind of was just like come on yeah. Why? For a second there, for a good three or four days, it seemed like no one could say or do anything right, no matter what they fucking tried. True. And now I feel like maybe people have calmed down a bit or have heard different rhetoric of like, hey, like I'm trying here, but there seems to be nothing I can do. And now I feel like most people are now focused on the Black Lives Matter movement. Let's go ahead and end racism. Let's go ahead and focus on equality. Like this is what really, truly matters. This is the heart of it. So let's just focus on that. And, and that I, makes me happy to see. It makes me happy to see, too. And I think this, this narrative of, you know, talking about these black men and women um, that get killed, they, people like to talk about what they've done wrong. Mm -hmm. And it really doesn't fucking matter anymore. So that's how it used to be, where it was like, well, he was bad kid. He was stealing from the liquor store just five minutes before. And then this cop was afraid for his yeah. life, whatever. Whereas I think we now understand that that saying that takes away from everything. Yeah. And it feels it, like it, everybody's it, waking up. It gives it waking up. a idiotic excuse, which should, there should never be an excuse for anything like that, no matter what. So I've been guilty of it.
of you know and i i totally admit like i've been guilty of like you know seeing a kid with the picture of a gun and money and like you know what i mean and having them be like dude he was like on the wrong path he was gangbanger he was aggressive blah 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 and being like okay well the cop was afraid for his life but since we did that show i've been trying to educate myself more i watched a couple documentaries um one called 16 shots Mm -hmm. have you seen this Mm -hmm. uh same thing Mm -hmm. i don't know why i don't know why i don't remember it but this is the exact same thing this kid was walking away and got shot 16 times Mm -hmm. And nothing was really done. done I mean, it. it finally did four years later. The guy got convicted, but the judge, you know, made his sentence very, very small well, because he was a cop. But and that's why so many names were brought up in the mix of just George Floyd. Because yeah. there because there were so many times that we should have woken up and we didn't. Mm-hmm. And so, like I said I'm on glad, the show. I mean, I wish it was earlier. I wish we could have done it earlier, but I'm glad now yeah. than much later. I just you know like I mean? seeing this more than face masks everywhere too. Like I really Same. like seeing. Well, that was the funniest those part. Posts yeah. everywhere. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I I will say this is that there is still some you know drama and hate. Yes. Um. Uh, one thing that I've noticed. Where's the best place that you can go for <laughs> drama and hate? You mean that is a dumpster fire? Twitter. Twitter. <laughs> Twitter. I've never been on Twitter before until. Really? I, no. I never started a Twitter. I never had any inclination yeah. to start one or, or need to. It's, I, it's you know, we made one for drinking broettes. Yeah. And so that's where I'm seeing some stuff. And I'm like, okay. don't, if you, if, if you love Twitter, well, then you might take this to heart. But I feel like the trash of the trash is kind of on Twitter. Not this trash. Like I'm not saying trashy people, but I'm just saying people put trash on there. It's just, it's just weird. Face, it's faceless and nameless. And it just goes out there. It's not like Instagram where you're like, literally commenting on somebody's page it just feels very uh faceless and the reason why i say trash and i don't mean it in a bad way but it's just kind of like where i feel like sometimes on instagram or maybe on social media on there's like there's something to a post maybe right like someone's doing something where on twitter it's like an update like i just wiped my ass it's like congratulations (laughs) yeah (laughs) like really or like Hey, I'm really mad right now. Okay, it's just like random cool. Updates, yeah, yeah, yeah. At least with yeah. what I'm seeing, and I'm like, this is strange. There's no through line. There's no thread. There's no. I mean, sometimes there will be a thread, like a Twitter. It's hard war. to follow, though. I know. So for I, me, I go to Twitter literally to just sip tea and watch because I never, I don't post anything. Oh, it's a mess. I the literally whole just a mess. like go. Who's fighting now? And like, that's that's what I've been doing so yeah. far. Like if I get on the try to post something for a page, I end up getting lost in a rabbit hole of drama. Oh shit. Drama yeah. llamas. So what's the newest one? So let's just talk about yeah, the newest tea on Twitter. Get your tea, girls. Look, or let's we're not gonna get, get into the drama. We'll just talk about it. <laughs> talk about it. Um well, number one, Terry Cruz is under fire right now. You'll have to explain this one to me, only because I did read the tweet mm-hmm. um, yeah so terry cruz had tweeted that defeating white supremacy without white people creates black supremacy equality is the truth like it or not we're all in this together and so you know this one guy replied hey black supremacy doesn't exist there is no history of our people killing and enslaving and making laws to instill power for 400 year or for 400 years for generations so, like, basically people are mad with him even implying, I think, black supremacy or that. I it, really think they're just mad at that word. I don't even know. Like, someone not saying that. Someone's saying, like, okay, so people are stating that they feel like he he's not taking a side in this issue. They feel like he's kind of riding the fence uh, in right. a way that he needs to sit there and be like, black power, black lives matter. Um, and they feel like because he has a white wife, which I didn't know, that yes. he's riding the fence. Um, they have, okay. So some guy was like, we have officially entered the twilight zone on a day when Mitt Romney marches for black lives matter. And Terry Crews does his thing, which is like, apparently to the black community, nothing. Right. And then you know how there's a show, um, America's got talent. Yes. Gabrielle union was on like the last season, but she got fired. Yeah. And she has a, she filed a lawsuit lawsuit and Mm -hmm. the investigation kind of brought up nothing which okay so you know as far as women getting treating bad treated bad 
So I heard there was misogyny. She was talking. She kind of talked about uh, sexism and racism mm-hmm. comments that she was getting. And so this this chick then said, ever since Terry Crews threw Gabrielle Union under the bus with America's Got Talent. Did he? I knew he couldn't be trusted. And then he decided to say, fuck logic and history. This is some new low. So peop- that's why people are mad, I guess. So I read a little bit more because I was like, wait, what did he do with Gabrielle Union? And I guess essentially he just... He just stated what he saw. He said he didn't see any racism or sexism from his point of view. You know what I mean? But then again, like, and so then Gabrielle Union, I guess, got mad. Yeah. And then black women were like, you need to stick up for us no matter what. I don't know. So I guess people are just very mad at him right now. And while they're mad at him, they're fucking loving Mitt Romney. Loving, which is weird because they're actually going after anyone that posts, does a Black Lives Matter post. Um, they're getting dragged for past indiscretions. So Mark Wahlberg, mm. uh, Nick Jonas, and Priyanka Chopra, whatever, mm-hmm. who are the cringiest couple I don't even know alive right now. Okay. I can't. You know who you know who I'm talking Nick about? Nick Jonas? Nick Jonas. Oh, and, and his, his wife. Like, wife. Yeah, Indian yeah. Wife. <laughs> I just... Are they cringe? They're just cr- They're just so... I can't too, really Too put, much? I can't really put my finger they on it. They just bother you. But... Have you seen his nipples? So he has. I need okay. you to look up. Wait, I have just thought, do me I a thought fake. that was fake. It's not fake. Just do me a favor and just. I've look seen up. them. They look oh. like big old well, fucking baloney. Okay, so they're cringy in all these different ways, right? That's like his one fault. Is his nips? Is his nips? And uh, so downfall. I guess they're they're going after her in a way that's like you're from India and you were, you know, selling lightning creams, which is like. Give her a break, right? Oh my Leah gosh. Michelle. They are reaching. They went after Leah Michelle, you know, this whole drama from Glee. So she put a Black Lives did. Matter post, and I guess every black castmate that she's ever worked with, she has made their life hell. She's made racist comments. She's been unpleasant. Oh, I can kind of see that. She seems like a diva. Right? A and bit. so in in the world. Well, they're doing that with the two cast members, the new cast members from um Vanderpump Rules, Max and Brett, mm-hmm. dude, they made like dozens of posts with the N word in it back in the day, and that was all brought to light. So that's kind of what's happening now. It's interesting that Mitt Romney isn't getting because he's made comments about poor, you know, poor black people and like I certain think, things like this. You know, why I think he's getting so much praise. It's because it's not just a fucking post. He's, like actually, he's actually the videos doing, and the pictures are all fair. of him out on the streets. In the protest, yelling Black Lives Matter, actually putting actions to the words. You know what? So he's not sitting there in the comfort of his own home going, hey, Black Lives Matter. He's actually doing shit about it, which I think gives people more respect for him. Like, you know what? He's not just saying it, but he's actually doing it. That's a great point because I feel like people are just mad. So from what I'm reading, people are mad that at at any celebrity that's trying to use this moment for themselves in Mm. any way. So, yeah, if you're out there... Or try to just look good and not do anything about it. Yeah, like, just be like, hey, this is my moment to let you guys know that I'm blah, blah, blah. And and they're like, oh, cool. Don't throw me out of the bus and all this with everyone else. Yeah, oh, cool, because you're also a racist, and these are all the racist things you've done. But if you're out there, I think that's a good point. And I think that's why, because... All the things that I saw of him on Twitter were literally videos and pictures of him with, like, everyone around him in the crowd protesting. Like, legit, peacefully protesting. We're in bizarro world. We're in bizarro world right now. So, yeah, Terry the, tides, Cruz. the tides are turned. It's Look. funny because I'm actually curious when I tell Chris about uh, Terry Crew, um, it, how he's going to feel because Chris loves him from that show. Like, Chris Look, doesn't like many people. He's a likable people, but I know. guy. I've never known him to do anything shitty except for... Well, he did have a Me Too with a guy. He said that a, like, male producer touched his penis. Oh, well, and so that was another thing, too, is that right. I guess Gabrielle Union had his back on that. And you know what I mean? Was, like, mm-hmm. supported him during that time. And so I guess she kind of felt hurt or left out that he did not do it to her. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I don't get involved in the it. I just read. Thing, yeah. Just to, because here's the biggest thing with any type of news or anything that you see on social media. Verify that shit. Yeah. Like, for, for example, last week, Chris is like, Tiff, oh my God. And I'm upstairs in the office. I'm like, what? He's like, dude, they raid it and loot it the fucking Chicago Zoo. There's like literally lions and tigers and bears on the loose. And I was like, was well, he serious? What the fuck? He was 100% serious. Like he was in shock. So I go to text my buddy, John, who sure. lives in Chicago. And I'm like, 
Hey, how you doing with those bears out there? Big lawyer, man. I make sure, like, by the way, he will just make fun of me, right? So I want to make sure that I... We verify this. First. You know what I mean? Verify, verified it yeah. before I talked to him and it said fake news, essentially. Sure. Like, you know, rumor gets escalated. That you would know, have Chicago been great... Zoo has to put out a statement to let them know everyone's safe. And I was like, Christopher Ray. Like, really? You could have really gotten me <laughs> fucking... I was like, I hope you're not sharing that shit. And he's like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm like, you just be like... You don't. I know you don't do that often, but for that quick second, he was like, "Could you fucking believe it?" I was like, "Oh my gosh!" This is bullshit. I will say, so that would have been things. a great loot, though. <laughs> my God, that would have been like me, you. We get it. It would have reminded me of the Hangover. That I'm like, you know, walking the tiger just on a fucking leash, tigers just like, all around. Oh my yeah. God, nothing. Could you imagine? Would fuck. I would take a fucking pet monkey. I would all day long. You know what I mean? Like, give me that. <laughs> Hit them where it hurts. Just but, get the animals yeah. out, out on the street. But verify that stuff. Sure. Um, okay, so next up on the Twitter uh, shit list sure. is CrossFit CEO Greg Glassman. So what happened was is that the Institute for Health Metrics and Education um, put out a tweet. And I guess they had in the past tweeted a ton about COVID and yada, yada, yada. Things that Greg Glassman did not find accurate, let's just say. Okay. okay. So th this institute puts out a tweet about racism and says racism and discrimination are critical public health issues that demand an urgent response. And um, Greg Glassman's response to that said it's Floyd 19 instead of COVID-19 they said Floyd 19 so I think he was making fun of the whole situation yeah. I think he thinks that the whole coronavirus thing is fake uh, you know what I mean and like they were I don't know like he, he thinks something controversial or yeah about the COVID and so I guess he decided to make a insensitive joke timing Floyd thing timing and immediately everyone started attacking him on that yeah. and um he had an athlete reach out to him in an mm -hmm. email i don't know what she wrote him um but i can only read parts of his response here and it says i sincerely believe that the quarantine has inversely adversely impacted your mental health this is what he's saying to the so the athlete reached out to him and said hey I, you know like i saw your statement I'm, I'm not really okay with not it. Not cool, bad timing, I support whatever. the black community. Yeah. I don't think this is appropriate. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just kind of just professionally as an athlete talking to him and saying, like, you represent all of us. Like, yeah. we're underneath your cross for umbrella. So do you mind? Like, I don't even know if she sure. said, like, can you say something? But either if she did, who gives a fuck? Yeah. She's trying to help the dude out. Yeah, yeah. And then he said, I sincerely believe the quarantine has adversely impacted your mental health. I won't speak for Jeff Kane, but I can tell you that you are delusional in your thoughts and this is extremely cringeworthy. You think that you're more virtuous than we are. It's fucking disgusting. You're self something, Oof. like, because I can't read it all, and manipulative. You're doing your best to brand us as racist and you know it's fucking bullshit. Um, that strikes me as wrong to the point of being evil. I'm ashamed of you, Greg. Like, that's what he said to one of his athletes. So, of course. Female athlete. Mm -hmm. I should... We yeah, so should, her, uh, her title was CrossFit in the time of COVID and Black Lives Matter. So um, she leaked this email out to everyone. Love it. And people are now reposting that tweet of his and this email. And by the way, like half the email is cut off. So lo I don't even know what else he fucking said to her, but this yeah. is enough. Yeah. Um, Reebok has now unaffiliate themselves they have disaligned themselves from crossfit they said we will complete our 2020 contract with them but beyond that we are done we do not support them we, do, we will no longer sponsor them Ooh, crossfit's dead i can't wait um right <laughs> athletes all around the world i'm telling you like athletes that are the most popular crossfit athletes are all like disconnecting disassociating himself with, with crossfit they say they yeah. will no longer be part of the crossfit brand they will no longer follow crossfit they will no longer do competitions they are no longer a crossfit athlete crossfit athlete they are now gyms crossfit gyms across the entire world right now especially in the continental u.s that are stating that they are now like they're taking crossfit out of their name mm -hmm. they will no longer use that because i think you have to pay like a fee and yeah certain, yeah yeah and they're now just like community gyms or community fitness health centers 
they're no longer CrossFit. Like everyone. What's his name again? I think he was always controversial, wasn't he? What's his name? Greg Glassman. Yes. So, um, so anyway, I mean, literally, too, yeah. We talked about this a little bit before with Hannah Brown. We are in a canceled society where you know, like, when you get yes. canceled, it spreads like wildfire, and mm-hmm. it currently is right now. I heard about it on uh, Instagram. Like, someone made a comment about his his comments, his tweet, and then someone goes, "Wait." What are you talking about? And they go, do you live under a fucking rock? Like, Google it. Yeah, yeah. And so I looked on Twitter, and I was like, damn. Like, it was all over Twitter. And now it's spreading everywhere else. Yep. And if you look at it, every single major athlete that has, like, millions of followers is saying, fuck CrossFit. I'm done with it. Have you ever heard this guy talk before? No, I have not. Why? Is it pretty? He's just, uh, he's just, like, a weird dude he's like older he looks kind of like he should be living on a boat so like very surfer like i've never seen him of, before yeah until i looked at his he's twitter not- and i said how the fuck are you the ceo of crossfit he's some like old dude who's not really like in doesn't look like no. he's in good shape no he's just a businessman that like figured out how to like make people pay to put a the ton word of fucking money ton of money to put the word crossfit on their fucking facility you know what i mean Mm-hmm. multi-level marketing some kind of shit like he's he's figured it out yeah. um so did no, he I, apologize no he's ref- he's i don't know if, uh, as of, from what i know he's refused to okay um in ways the only thing that he keeps like tweeting was stuff about like science education and training like that's all like that's all he said so i think that's what got people like really confused is that he continued to keep tweeting after that and people yeah. were like don't you want to address this like this is becoming an issue and and he just never did and then when his athletes reached out he just obliterated them and okay so this is uh what's the date today 7th today is the jeez putting me on eighth. the spot okay so he just now we are the 8th yeah did he said I CrossFit HQ and the CrossFit community will not. So this is CrossFit. This is not exactly him. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not Which, like Greg by the way, Glassman. he was the one. Right. And so it. community will not stand for racism. I made a mistake by the words I chose yesterday. My heart is deeply saddened by the pain it has caused. It was a mistake, not racist, but a mistake. OK, so nope. That's Mm-mm. not, that's not going to work. That's I not know gonna this work. sounds terrible, but I feel like there's an expiration date a little bit. Don't get me wrong. You should always apologize no matter sure. what. But if you want to fucking save your ass and save your brand, like it's, there's, there's an expiration date on a fucking apology. And it has to be a real apology. Yes. Not, I'm not racist. I'm it not wasn't racist. racist. There was nothing wrong with it, but I'm sorry. Uh, then why are you apologizing, apologizing if there was nothing because wrong with it? Because he's losing millions of fucking exactly. dollars. Exactly, and it's why. not from him. It's it's a publicist tweet, by the way, because he can't speak like that. Again, if you've yeah, ever heard so him this speak. This is what someone else said. The fact that this came, yeah, so, yep, so he tweeted that, and this came from the CrossFit, not his page. Mm-hmm. The fact that this came after a full day of sustained criticism Affiliates dropping the CrossFit name, sponsors pulling out, and pro- uh, prominent athletes rejecting game invites makes me think a Twitter apology ain't gonna fucking cut it. No, and especially again if it's not an apology. Yeah. Yeah. So someone's saying like, here's the here's the Cliff Notes version of what's going on, and everyone's fucking out. So, the art of the. CrossFit is dead, canceled. Yep. Like, literally, like, so many people. Damn. Wow. Well, well, there we go. There's the end of Cross right there, people. You're seeing it. Like, all right. But, like, you can still do those kinds of circuits and these kind of thing without Cheaper. needing it to be fucking CrossFit. When, like, I went to a cross, when I went to a CrossFit gym, I was paying $100 a month and I was on the military discount program too oh, like it was 99 fucking dollars and that was still with a 25 percent off military discount by the way when i did crossfit um i did i did like the the team the team um camaraderie i guess you can say yeah. with it. it i did like the intensity and that i could do quick workouts and get a great workout what i did not like those i mean after having two acl surgeries my knees were like dead after that because the uh the trainers at my gym weren't really that great at they just kept throwing on more weight 
and sometimes CrossFit gyms will do that. They are all, yeah. They're all about performance rather than actually doing the exercise the correct way. So for me, I got a bad taste in my mouth after like I walked away with two shoulder injuries and my knees were fucked up. After my CrossFit competition, I was kind of like, I can't do this anymore. It's just, and I'm not saying it's all like that, but no, but I think my experience with it is I either need to be a CrossFit athlete that does it every single day as my job, correct, or never. (laughs) Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, the doing it even even three times a week. You have to do it consistently. Yeah, to ruins my shit. Where it's like you could. I don't know. That's just me. I'm well, obviously not like a CrossFit cross is canceled. athlete, but we're canceling it anyway. So I don't <laughs> need to worry about getting into it. Right. Because it's over. So that's what's going on. Um, shit. And what I'm noticing, too, with Twitter, everyone's dirt's on there, I feel like. And with that being said, like everyone's dirt's, everyone's updates, everyone's whatever. Sure. Um, I, there was apparently like even just shit I was reading. There was like someone recently who like people who are like getting married right and then like guys and girls coming out of the woodwork and being like oh yeah well i can't believe you got like making passive aggressive comments like um i can't believe someone would get married to someone after like this person cheated on them right yeah and, like, people would be like wait what? what what are you talking about yeah like right just a cryptic like yeah and then the wife is like asking the husband he didn't do anything but right now you're like just I'm- shit like this yeah or <laughs> oh, that fuck. whether it's true or not and yeah. then someone i guess someone did come out and say like you know that's just is true and by the way i'm going to show the fucking receipts on twitter and part of me is like why would you do that on twitter like why would you not just go to this person if you know who they are yeah and or go to the guy that was apparently cheating on this girl who he just like married and say like behind closed doors like why does this have to be like a huge twitter thing and get everyone involved do you know what you mean yeah so it's just kind of like what the fuck is going on so that's i saw that with people that i know who are like affiliated yeah with it kind of like hey i know someone who like they're together with someone this guy like cheated on them and everyone's like, why don't you just, like, stop fucking promoting this online? Like, wh- why are you doing this? This is fucking yeah. evil shit. And, and these then are people show that the fucking you, receipts. People that you know? Kind of. Kind of. And then they, sh- they did show receipts on? Like, fucking DMs of shit. Well, and I'm like, who announces wedding plans on twitter anyways but it wasn't, there was no wedding plans that oh, they, announced oh, they on were twitter. just like it was just like and then put something out there mm-hmm. i don't I mean, know there is something to be said for if you are gonna cheat uh what's the, what's the term? girls are gonna fucking you know what i mean like that's the, there's certain things that we need to do to deter guys from cheating one of which is we will publicly fucking shame your ass so mm-hmm. don't do it even if you think about well, doing it. Well, I'm saying it. the girl that he, like, had cheated with. Not, like, the girl he cheated on. No, the I'm girl saying he the cheated girl that, with. Like, yeah, so he was, I guess he was with this girl for, like, I don't know, a few years, I think. Mm-hmm. And while he was with this girl, he cheated on her with this other girl. And that other girl was the one who was, like, he was with me for two, like, a couple months. And, by the way, here are the yeah. receipts. And I was, like, why would you not just. I mean, obviously, you know who this person is. Yeah. And you know that they're together. So why wouldn't you just. Go to them in private. I'm trying to think you if know? Ross ever did that to me, how public I would shame him. Mm. Probably pretty bad. Well, uh, I've definitely the had couple's not believing it. Well, I'm sure the husband really is trying super hard to make sure that she doesn't believe it. Right? I don't know. I mean, I, there's I, receipts though. I know, even though I know kind of know the people, I'm not asking because I don't want to oh, act like sure. I know no, 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 anything. Because no. I, when I saw it, I was like, it made my heart, hurt, my heart yeah. hurt. I will be honest though, like, I mean, I would be personally, I would be pissed, like, if Chris was like cheating on me and some girl instead of coming to me, mm-hmm. like in a DM, right, what, took on it public, Instagram or yeah. something, just like all of a sudden, like, yeah. made something public and people were like, wait, what? I think I would try that first, and if they if they aren't sure. responding or they are not believing me or they're making me because it just to be it would be my villain. business out there. Like that's still my business yeah, out sure. there. I understand it's her, her well, kind of her business too. But I would just see if we can do, do that. And part of me, like in all honesty, if the girl was like later on, like, hey, I think I'm gonna post these or do whatever, 
if I was ending it, I would be like, fucking post a shit out of yeah, them. Yeah, go ahead. You know, but I'm just saying right now, I'm like, who? But I never see anyone do that on Instagram or Facebook. That's like a Twitter thing. It's a Twitter thing. And you know everything. And like all the passive aggressive tweets that you read and then you're like, are you talking about me? I don't know. Honestly, you I know don't I mean? know why anyone posts on Twitter anymore. I'm, anything controversial. Like you have balls of steel if you post on Twitter anything about COVID or I, like. I feel like when people are getting in trouble for social media, it's Twitter. Yeah. Trump, Twitter. Yeah. Uh, the fucking guys from Random Pumper Rules, their tweets. Yeah. It's all old this. tweets, isn't it? It's all old tweets that Kevin come Hart. Up because people just feel like. Twitter. Kevin Hart, Twitter. Yeah. You know what I mean? This girl that. It doesn't feel real, that's why. Because you're just throwing stuff out into like. I'm so glad I never got into it. And like, yeah. So it doesn't feel like you're really talking to a person. It's literally just like can't explain it you're throwing it against the wall and like seeing if some people are like yeah and then some people are like fuck you i don't know you know the days that i miss mm. i miss the myspace days where all you had to fucking worry about was your theme your music and your fucking top eight or top 10 whatever you know what I, the I days i eight. miss what friendster <laughs> <laughs> yahoo friend finder no you know i don't I even remember any of them. aim aol instant messenger oh my god that's how i learned how to type super quick by the way Awesome. You know what I mean? Because you had to, like, have to. You had to type. Because you were always, to. I think you were at my always dad's, talking to your crush. I think at my dad's always. house, he still has a disc of, like, the free month of AOL, which I actually don't even understand in my yes. mind how that works. Me neither. But I remember that. But somehow and you dial put up, that in. Dial up. Dial up. Mm. And then oh. it would stop and it was like, Mom, get off the fucking phone. I'm trying to get on the internet. Oh, what a dream. Right? Those are the days. And it would make the, like, fax machine go. And you're like, I posted a TikTok the other day of some guy reminiscing of back in the day when he was making his voicemail for his flip phone. Oh. And like, it was like the Ja Rule song, like, living it up, say what? Yeah, yeah. I do. But he had to like and put the phone up right to the Right up thing. to the, the radio and then be like, hey guys, it's Jason yeah. Stone. <laughs> Sorry, I'll get hit you back up. See ya. Oh, like, right? so good. Those days and the days of sitting in front of the radio pressing play and record yep. on your cassette tape mm -hmm. to make to your own try and tape get that one song for hours yeah yeah like kids nowadays will never understand those were the days those were kind of the I days i think we're talking too much <laughs> to people <laughs> do you know what i mean like we're too accessible i, agree. I really liked the days when but again i know this thing that's happening the George Floyd, you know, yeah. the wave that would not happen. So I have to a little bit respect social media in this time for this movement. But my gosh, everything else I just fucking hate on. I there. know, I but have I have to, to say, say that I feel like we can talk about this even after sponsors. I feel like um, social media is not helping with relationships either. Like it is. No. The relationship that is talked about. It's not like it gives people more access to things. It, it creates more problems. You have, re I mean, receipts for anything is probably a good thing, but still like there's a lot of issues that you see keep popping up because of social media. Oh, yes, definitely. And our connections. So, yeah. And I saw a couple things on the Broettes group that just made me be like, dang, like same, you know, just some relationship stuff after the sponsors. So let's get into it. First yeah. up, as always, and for the foreseeable future we've got ghostbed.com do you want to talk about what you're getting so tomorrow finally? tomorrow i have my ghost bed lux coming in you got the lux smart the lux so chris have to even more so recently than normal chris sweats a ton when he sleeps and even more so now than ever and so this bed with its cooling gel and multiple cooling layers would be perfect for us. And after reading all the reviews, I was like, you can't go it's wrong. It's the best. Pretty much and everyone will tell you to get that yes. one. Yeah. And what I will say, too, is one thing I didn't know, and I kind of feel stupid now that I did not know this, is that they're, everything that they, like, sell is made in America. Yeah. Dude. I love that. Like, that oh, makes me want to buy yeah. even more yeah. from them. And that's right? why we, when we first got hooked up with ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros by the way for 25 percent off everything in two free pillows plus 30 percent off a uh, ghost bed bundle set but when we first got hooked up with them it was like a no-brainer right like made in america mm -hmm. and they support 
they weren't veteran owned, but they just supported veterans and first responders. Yeah. It was just like a huge thing for them. And their beds and all the products are made. They're not made with all of the like chemical filled junk, right? Like yeah. they, it goes into, I mean, it goes into all the scientific terms of what's used instead and they really break it down. And I loved it. Like I love it. So we got that coming, which I'm so excited. So excited. You and will the not be down pillows. Yeah. That I'm going to get. So like, I'm like, dude, I'm so excited. So excited. You're going to be comfy, cozy. You're going to be the next time we talk after you get it. You're going to, it's going to be a whole new world. A whole new world. Does Chris sleep really well? Do you sleep really well? Do you guys both like, once you go to bed? Yeah, we're tired. You're able to. Okay. Yeah. But there, there are times this when we wake up, you, for but sure. I'm excited yeah. to see because we'll be a little tall. Oh, definitely. We're definitely going to have to break it in if you know what I mean. Never know. Never know what I mean. Get the little cover, girl. Oh, we definitely need you that. You need the cover. Because whenever you look at those covers later on, you're like, oh, there's a lot of oh, juices on here. Really? Like, should it, that should not if be. If you ever move. You know what I mean? When you see you know those mattresses that you see that have yellow stains and everything? Like, we have the pee-pee bed. Like, I mean, you know what I mean? It has yeah. so many disgusting stains on it. And you're like, oh. Yeah. You can't sell it. be that. nice to just get a new cover. Anyways, ghostbed.com yeah. forward slash drinking bros. Sorry, we're just... We're just riffing here. Yeah. <laughs> Next up, we have StrikeForceEnergy.com. Promo code LADYBONER for 20% off. You guys know and love Strikeforce. Um, I've got pretty much my whole neighborhood mm -hmm. on this Strikeforce train. It's hot. We need to be drinking water. Yep. If you're drinking it all by the pool or in the sun or at the beach, like you need energy. You do. It the zaps sun, you. It, yeah. it does. We were talking about that the other day with how hot and humid it is out here. You feel so Dude. tired. Yeah. But guess what? You still got half the day left. So take a little strike force, pep in your step. You're good to go. Good to go. Go to strikeforceenergy.com. Promo code LADYBONER. 20% off everything in the store. Next up, we have, you know them, you love them, expressvpn.com. Mm -hmm. You guys know ExpressVPN, basically. Uh, they, <clears throat> they sponsor all shows across the network. Everyone needs a VPN, right? Yeah. Like you were talking in uh, military, like. Yeah. So in the military, with any type of computer, specifically in the military, they monitor everything that we do on there. So they yeah. joke around all the time like, hey, don't look at stupid shit because the military can literally see your, you know, your fingerprint, your right. online fingerprint. And with ExpressVPN, you, you cannot. You're hiding all of that, basically. Yep. So people are like oh, well, why don't you just go in incognito mode or, uh, you know, clear your history, clear so your cookies, So people talk about whatever. that all the time. Like, yeah. if I die, clean, my, clear out my browser Look, history. That doesn't work. Doesn't work. You need to use ExpressVPN. Yes. Like, if your internet is like Verizon or Comcast or anything like this, they are monitoring mm -hmm. everything that you're going to as you're going to it, unless you have an ExpressVPN app on the device that you're using. Mm -hmm. So... This is the ultimate incognito. Express VPN, you know they protect your privacy. Mm -hmm. You know what a virtual private network is. But they, they're just reiterating. Like, listen, even your phone company and your internet is looking. So you need when to be incognito to everything. are so shocked and surprised at something they literally just talked about now shows, shows oh. up as an ad. You know, That's and if you why. don't like that feeling... Protect yourself. And it's not necessarily listening. Nope. They are seeing what you're searching for, when you're searching for it, and how long you're watching mm -hmm. stuff. So go to expressvpn.com slash broettes, B-R-O-E-T-T-E-S. You're going to get three months free on a one-year package. And it ends up being, I think, like $7 a month after that. So easy, easy decision, right? With mm -hmm. all of this craziness that's going on. Expressvpn.com slash broettes. So social media sucking the life out of fucking relationships. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. You were saying it's good to have receipts, but at the same time, like things I'm, can be doctored, like things. Can, not with, um, can not they? really with text. Okay, okay. So that's the thing. So receipts, receipts back in the day were like legit receipts. Like there was no changing them. Right. The only thing that you can do to alter text is delete certain texts. You know how, like, when you go on your phone, you can edit and that. And just make it look like and the you can make conversation it, is different. You can. Yeah. I mean, you can't add anything in it. Yeah. You can delete certain things. Uh, if you said something fucked up, right? Yeah. You don't want to You can show take anyone. that you off. You can take yeah. it out. I do know, like, I'm sure if you really wanted to, you can edit 
you if you have an editing program you can edit shit in but that's i mean the other person's gonna have yeah what they have on instagram you can unsend things now that you've sent in the past you know what i mean is there a time limit on that Mm -mm. now that they have it you can Mm. i know you can unsend things believe me i i've done it before (laughs) Well, because there was, a com- oh there, was, there was a conversation, not in a bad way, but yeah. I wanted to lo- make it look like we've never talked before, like this person and I, because I was like, fuck you. Yeah. Um, um, I definitely have people I should probably unsend some stuff to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So there's that. And let's see what else. You can do that. But at the same time, the other person, I mean, the other person won't get like a notification. It just will show up no, like nothing. Yeah. Well, the couple things that I saw on the Broettes group where I, like, go in there and just sort of see... Oh, I was just thinking Snapchat. Sorry. Oh, what? So the, so people actually technically use Snapchat to cheat. And WhatsApp. So, uh, yeah, kind of, yeah. I guess WhatsApp and there's Signal now, which is encrypted. But the I remember back in the day, Snapchat was really big to cheat because you could send a text and then it would like disappear. Yeah. Unless like that person saved it, but you can see that they saved it. And if they did screenshot it, you would see that they screenshot it. Right. Oh shit. So like everything would delete and you can literally put their name as someone else's name. If you Snapchat. No. So for example, like if I was like dating this dude, you know, Mike. Yeah. And I didn't want Chris to know. I can put his name as like Michelle in Snapchat and it looks like I'm just oh, snapping yeah, yeah. Michelle. Do you see what I mean? That's how yeah, yeah, fucked yeah. up it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I know that's what people used to do. Like, I mean, here's my thing. Like, first of all, don't fucking cheat, number one. Because if you have, like, Look, what's the fucking day and point, age, man? By the way, though, this day and age, too. Like, come on. Like, you're not, you're not going away with anything. And like, people are so technologically stupid unless you're like a tech person that you don't realize where sometimes your texts are going to or how someone you know what I mean? Like, are you linked to your computer? Mm-hmm. Are you linked to your fucking iPad? Like things like this where you're like, bro. And you and if you just because you delete it off your phone doesn't mean it's deleted off that computer or iPad. Craziness. Anyway. But So what did you read? So the stuff that I was seeing was about emotional one was emotional cheating that they found um that one yeah yeah you saw that one um another one was i wanted to talk about first was a guy that this girl is dating has a chick best friend i saw i saw a tiktok video about this the other day and it made me like cringe well, we've had this conversation because you have guy friends, right? And mm-hmm. we kind of like moved. I think we moved into a different space with it where you're guy like, friends, yeah, but it's also get like it. not. There's still lines that you're drawing. And by the way, there's still too, things you won't do. I barely talk to like my guy friends, even yeah. Dan anymore. Dan and I don't like, you know what I mean? Like Dan yeah. and I barely even because we're always, well, we're just working. It just, you, you ebb, it's ebbs and slows. But the conversation that we had, you and I, about the guy friend thing was like staying with that, that guy friend at like an Airbnb or like at their house, just like sleeping over like you would a girlfriend's house, right? Oh, yeah. And I think we came to the conclusion that was sort of like, look, no, nothing's going to happen, but things like that make people uncomfortable, right? Yeah. Like, no, this I would guy never do with it the, because my husband was like, I don't, I'm not okay. Well, not okay with it. Well, if my husband fine. was okay with the guy and was totally fine and said sure and bless it off, but you know, like I would never do it to him. I'd be it's surprised just, if he did it to me. Some, there's some things we do to prevent anything from happening because we are humans. You just don't put right? yourself in situations like don't that. Don't put too. yourself in those situations because we are humans like being drunk like super fucking wasted alone Whatever. with like a really like good friend or someone that you used to like or something like something. don't even do it so this guy has a chick best friend um and her and him have gotten to the point of i love you so they've they've gotten to oh the the boyfriend and girlfriend Got have it. gotten okay. to the point of i love you so it's not just like a little fling and she doesn't want him hanging out like they're serious mm-hmm. and he is very into this girl best friend talking about her all the time um no. it's a no for me no. but i just i don't even talk about my guy friends at all like with chris can you imagine 
Could you imagine? No. That every single conversation that we have, I somehow like throw in like, oh yeah, well Jason, oh Jason said this, or oh yeah, Jason likes that that too. And like, he'd be like, shut the fuck up. Right? It's like dating someone and you're talking about your ex. Like they don't, they don't want to hear it. No. And I don't think. So he talks about this, his best friend a lot. Talks about best friend a lot. They've been through a lot together. What happened in their friendship is they almost had sex when they first met it didn't work nope. out and so they never have do you know what I mean like you try and you're kind of like eh, this isn't right and then you continue to be friends but you don't think that like at any point in time either their either of their brains are like I wonder what it would be like now so some of the comments were like hey they never have so he will never get it out of his head what it could be like that's what I mean ever it's just human nature to be like, if you know what it's like, you're like, mm, mm-hmm. I, I don't really want to go back to that. If you don't know what it's like and you really connect with someone, mm-hmm. you're always going to always going to think about what it would be like. Right. People might not agree with me on this statement, but me personally, I think emotional cheating is worse than physical cheating. So do uh, I. I it, I mean, I'd rather have neither of these. But if I had to pick Chris, go out and fuck a chick one night just for shits and giggles or him actually be having an emotional Carrying relationship and talk on. to someone for a year mm-hmm. i'd pick the first one absolutely because th- you know like and because guys are a little bit more different than girls i'm not saying all but i am saying guys traditionally detach sex from emotions sometimes and they just like you know sometimes have sex yeah. to have sex where most of the time women are doing it is because they love and have an emotional bond mm-hmm. with this person and i'm not saying all the time for people who want to come at my throat later but i'm just saying like traditionally Right. I get that. I believe. I mean, I agree. And totally. also I've seen and heard things before from guys' mouths saying that guys are not friends with girls unless they want to fuck them. It's Traditionally, just something right? that we have to. I know it sounds horrible, but I feel like you kind of have to wrap your head around it. Like you have to be aware of that all day long. You can sit there because I'll tell you even before, like I would tell Chris, like, no, this is a good friend or no, like it's a good friend. And then Chris would be like, okay, that's fine, but I still think this person has a crush on you. Or I right. still think either this person, if we and I weren't together, would make a move on you. Or there's even, I don't trust this person, and you, I don't want you drinking with them, because even though they might be your friend, I think they would take advantage of you. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Guys whatever don't it might hang be. out with girls they aren't at least a little bit attracted to. It's the only thing that holds their fucking attention, right? Like, they don't really want to talk just talk to you all night because you're the most interesting amazing person in the world and they don't even see how you look you know what i'm saying they just there's gonna be people out there who are gonna argue against us like but i'm best friends with so and so and it's like i know it's not all but it's most it's like literally i'll say all you can come after me i'll say all i think guys need to have a tiny bit of attraction not that they're going to act on it they most of the time they won't i mean guys and girls have to interact with men and women all the time throughout their life right if you are very close with another girl basically outside of your marriage if you're a guy there has to be something there that makes you want to spend time with that person whether it's you love their personality Mm -hmm. which is which is part of bad too if you love how they look which is bad if you i'll tell you have so much fun with them that's bad like i have legit been friends with guys i have not had any feelings for Sure, I don't. Right. I do think girls can do it. I do more too. than guys. Like legit, like literally just friends. Literally nothing, nothing would ever happen. Yeah. Like really dislike them as a yeah. friend. Uh, and I only could do that with guys that I don't really find attractive, and I would never see myself with. Sure, you know what I mean and stuff like that. Because if I did was friends with someone like that, then I would probably have those feelings. Right. I will say for as much as I used to love to live in this fucking fantasy world when I was younger, and even like probably within the last three years. Of thinking like, no, we're just friends. And no, he likes me as a friend. It always came out later on down the line that this guy who was best friends with me or such good friends did love me. Yeah. Either did love me, was in love with me. And like eventually it was just kind of like, oh, well, that changes things. Yeah. Like, okay. Because when you take sex out of the equation, you can really fall in love with someone as we know. Right. Mm -hmm. And a real deep love so this guy is not having sex with this girl therefore i would venture to say he has a deeper connection because sex is not in the 
equation. Now, yeah. let me add one more thing oh, that God, he went, worse. he went somewhere with, he went somewhere with the best friend or got into a, some kind of situation where they slept in the same room and cuddled, but didn't do anything. No, nope. fuck to the no. Are you fucking kidding? So you be, so Broa, if you're listening, you know who you are. It's a no, girl. It's a no. And if he is fighting you on I don't care how that, this motherfucker spins it. And he is no, spinning it. cuddling. Are you fucking kidding he's me? He's making her so, he's gaslighting her so hard. Oh, I hard guarantee he is. That like she put this post up being like, hey, girls don't know what to do. And every girl is like, what do you mean you don't know what to do? This is a no. I guarantee you like, know what he's it is a hard her? no. You're fucking crazy. How dare you fucking psycho? We're just You can't tell me friends. who to hang out with and yep, who you don't not control to hang out my with. life. Well, I respect myself. And so, so either you fucking end your relationship with her since you obviously can't respect ours, right? Or I'm going to fucking break up with you and you can go have a relationship with her. But you can't get your cake and eat it too and be with two girls essentially at the same time. Yeah. You can't be telling me that you love me and then be cuddling some fucking BFF. I'll add another thing. This other girl is married and is getting a divorce. So he's emotionally taking care of her through that. So anyway, it's all the answers. It just gets worse and worse and worse. All the answers are there. Maybe she needed a big echo chamber of everyone to tell her in order to like. Sure. And some people do. Because here's the thing. We talked about this before. When you're in a relationship and there's so many red flags just popping up all over the place. You, we tend to just sit there and like uh, ignore them because we want to look for the good in that person and we want it to work so badly that literally some of the biggest things that should be hitting us straight in the face are not because we don't allow them to. And I think it's good to have sounding boards and use friends as, and family as sounding boards and be like, hey, am I wrong here? Am I right here? And if they truly love you and care about you, just like the Broette community does, they will tell, you, tell sh- you They will tell you straight to your face, yeah. like, this is fucked up. And yeah. you deserve so much better. Yeah. And she does. And gaslighting is a real thing. And Absolutely. it is real with women in particular because throughout the ages, since the beginning of the witch hunt and all of this, women have been told that they're crazy. Mm-hmm. Like, we're just a little bit crazy. We have hormones that make us crazy. We have da-da-da that make us crazy. Guess what? Guys have hormones, too. Everyone in the human race has hormones that make you crazy Mm -hmm. but we are just able to be like we're able to guys are able to make us feel crazy because it's such an easy thing to jump to right and you go like am i because they do stupid things like this and then they act like it's nothing that's the thing and you're like when you are acting when you were acting like a normal sane person how anyone else should act the guy yes gaslights you turns everything around on you and at like what? you're the one doing it everything wasn't like that and then you start questioning yeah. yourself and your own sanity you're just jealous Correct. you can't tell me you can't tell me who and I you can love hang him out with yeah. so you take their words to heart and you really start wondering to yourself am i doing something wrong do i really need to change and that's and why women do feel like they're just one hormone episode away from actually being crazy So it's very easy to make us think that we are because we're like, ah, like we get crazy sometimes. Right. And so it's easier. But sometimes we're valid in that craziness because you fucking drove us there, men. Hello. Most of the time we are. And women's intuition usually overrides that. Yes. In the end. Um, The other one I was reading was the emotional cheating one. So I kind of remember reading some of that. Yeah. The boyfriend of four years. Um, started talking to an old fling I last know. year. So it's not even necessary. It's someone that he's hooked up with before. Yeah. Um, it's someone, apparently nothing ever happened. They didn't actually meet up, but it was like when she saw when they the were text talking, message, they talked about meeting up. Yes. yes. And it was just a bunch of like almost meeting up, but never met up, which. Yeah. But did you see the text messages they had between each other? I didn't see those. Okay. So, shots. so this guy and this girl obviously are together dating this guy who's talking to his old friend who's old fling Fling. apparently she's a lesbian oh in a relationship supposedly Hmm. right and they had talked about meeting up and the few text messages that she did show screenshots of the guy Uh and this girl talking were like hey are you up like oh my dick is yeah or my dick should be oh yeah do you want me to get it there for you yeah oh yeah sure 
talking about sex and about her getting his dick hard and about mm-hmm. her sucking it and then them immediately talking about right after when they were going to meet up during the work week. Yeah. And supposedly this chick is just like, we did nothing wrong. We were just friends. We were never going to meet up. It was just playful. I'm in a serious mm. relationship. Yeah. And like nothing was ever sexual. He didn't screw up here. Nothing. He didn't do anything wrong. And this chick's like, I have the fucking screenshots. Oh like, God. are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. Yeah. So, and if, if this girl was in a relationship too, then that's cheating on them. On yeah. her. It's just a whole other. big it's a whole big fuckery it's a whole i do think emotional cheating comes from something i'm not saying it's this girl's fault but like he's saying oh i'm glad you found out because like nothing was ever going to happen i don't want i want he's only to glad like that he's only saying that is because he got fucking caught he was never going to say anything to her yeah and he said that if i if i did meet up with her i was going to have, have sex, sex with her. her so i'm glad you found it because it was going to happen Uh, 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 i don't know in this case if he thought to himself just like telling the straight fucking truth was gonna help i mean it's a good thing that he is but this girl needs to sit there and go i don't want to be with you yeah and the thing that really struck me too is like things that you do which i've been in situations like this before where i thought the same thing where she's like these text messages that i saw are just like rolling through my head and Mm -hmm. you you hang on to these tiny things that like make you insecure about yourself like oh he was talking about her boobs like that and like i don't you know he never taught right and you start to be like oh she's he's saying stuff about her and it just like eats you away so i would say you do play the real the fuck out of there because it's gonna drive you fucking crazy she's not sleeping she's losing weight like it's really taking a huge toll on her and i guess if you guys feel like you can move past it that's what i'm saying so it's gonna take a lot so when i take my when i take my last marriage yeah right what needs to happen is beyond this guy admitting his fault most likely you're gonna have to go through some type of therapy and counseling together that needs to happen, yep. right? You have to have some type of mediator to talk about your thoughts and feelings. This guy, unfortunately, has going to give up a lot of freedoms in his life now because, unfortunately, he betrayed her trust, so he now needs to, sh- to prove his trust. And whether he she's likes it or not, he's not going to have any privacy. He can't talk to this girl anymore. They don't have a fucking relationship anymore. He can't stay she's out gonna, late. He can't go out with his yep, friends. Yeah, and this chick's to- going to have access to his phone so that they can rebuild the trust back up and all the shit that he's going to be like, what the fuck? This is shit that you do that you put yourself in when you want to make stupid mistakes like this. If you want to be with this person now, like you got to do anything and everything you can to build this trust. He's going to have to get used to reassuring her. He's going to have to get used to fucking constantly. Don't get mad at her for needing reassurance all the time, which he will. Correct. Or bringing it up and being sad about it. Which he will. Right? So, like, all this stuff. Like, if you say that you want to make it work, then listen. That's going to take a lot of fucking work. And believe me, it's been done before by people. But rarely has it. Because traditionally, the person who fucked up kind of just was like, well, you caught me anyway. I guess I'll stay. Didn't and then do they, anything. I didn't really do anything. Yeah. Um. That that's that's hard. That's sad. That makes it's me sad. Sad but for her. I will say, like, girl, if I could give you any advice, if you do listen, is you don't have kids and you're not married. Get the fuck up. Get the fuck up. Get the fuck up. You know what I mean? Now, but. Yeah. This is kind of what quarantine has done to people. Like, I don't know if she can move out. I don't know if, like, you know what I mean? You I don't can't, know if you, she can get out right can, now, but I mean, you go can. to your family, uh, even, something. But. You, can, you can leave whenever the fuck you want, even if you are married and have kids. Obviously, it makes it a lot harder. But I, there was some girl the other day who literally, um, she was about to get married. And I, I don't even know how long they were together, but she called it off, like the wedding off last minute, just because she just knew in her heart it wasn't right. And even though she felt a lot of pressure to go through with it, she didn't. And part of me was like, good on you. Oh, my God. Because you, even though you might be hurt now and might be having regrets now later on down the road, you're going to be so thankful that you did not go through with something that your whole Absolutely. heart wasn't into. You know? Absolutely. So, Dude. I mean, it's, it's, it's tough. It's triggering. But are, it's things that we all have either dealt with or see other people deal mm-hmm. with or see – all the time and the minute, yeah the minute that someone starts to hide information delete text lie that's cheating that in itself is cheating when in regards to talking to someone else yeah the worst if part you is- delete if you are talking to a male or female 
And you, after the conversation, you delete those conversations and those text messages that because you somehow feel guilty. That is the start Enough. of cheating. Mm -hmm. That is cheating. Yeah. Whether you want to admit it or not. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but that is. Mm -hmm. And it goes, it will keep going down this terrible rabbit hole until you either stop it or until you get you caught. You get sloppy and don't delete and then you get fucking caught. Um, but that's that's how it all starts yeah and i think the worst kind of cheating is not blatant you know like when you catch someone in the bed it's like okay like correct done something happens in your mind it switches you yeah you're you like fucking, okay you're done out i saw but it it's the it's the cheating that's very like gray you? area where it's like we didn't actually meet up we were just talking, talking on about text it. there's not really a face there like da 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 like or it's my best friend. I've known her forever. Like, what are you talking about? You're being crazy. It's that kind of stuff mm -hmm. that will drive people fucking insane. Not a, yep, because you're like, I, I feel bad about this, but I can't really like do that switch in mm -hmm. your mind. That's like, he's fucking cheating. Fuck you. Correct. Which is easier to do. I know it hurts more, but it's like pulling a band-aid off. It is, off, though. It's so much easier. I mean, even though, it, yeah, it does hurt more. You're not sitting there literally second-guessing everything. Yeah, and just being like, well, okay. And the thing is, too, is like you feel like no matter what he says, you almost don't have the whole story. Yeah. Right? Because they lied to begin with anyway, and you, had, you caught them, and there's all these little things. So part of you even thinks to yourself, like, it is like even with my ex i honestly still thought he never told me the whole story till this day i'm like i probably yeah. don't even know what really all happened even though he said he did like you know what you mean yep because i didn't catch it red-handed i had a lot of evidence to mm -hmm. prove against and your it. mind does crazy things right? and they try and twist stuff around and yep. it's a it's a lot scarier this like gray area cheating that that dude fuck facebook and their fucking recommended friends they're all people from the past that are like oh yes relationships you know what i mean exactly like who why why do i this talk to you I'm, yeah you're a guy who i dated like back in middle school barely why do i want to connect with you who gives a fuck totally right fuck you totally. facebook for bringing out this recommended seriously friends yeah <laughs> people a lot of emotional cheating i bet happens because it's of those just, it's fucking, not just facebook's fault it's fucking no but dirtbag people who can't friend suggestions you know what so many people and this is where I, I this is what i don't understand so many people are just unhappy in relationships and so instead of conversing and communicating your feelings out to your spouse or significant other which even though it might be hard is worth it People just sit there and go, you know what? I, I'm going to put the effort into something else. Well, something I'm gonna, new. I'm going to scratch an itch, feel better, and then I'll go. What they think is like, I'm going to just do this a little bit, feel better, and then I'll go back. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Are they looking for like See the what this is like thrill and then go back to my girlfriend. What, what did Chris put on yesterday? He put on, what's that? Oh, Pitch Perfect. <laughs> I love Pitch Perfect. Okay, so apparently Chris told me. So one of the most badass teams he was on with, like, these guys killed so many people. Uh, they watched Pitch Perfect in between <laughs> missions oh <my> sometimes. <laughs> he told me his old team leader, like, Chris would come into oh the team God. room in Afghanistan and be like, bro, what the fuck? Pitch bro. Perfect's on again. He's like, oh, it just was on TV and I'm just sitting here watching it. Oh, my Isn't God. Isn't that funny? I so love anyway, it. So anyway, Anna Kendrick's like um you know flirting with that dude and they watched the end of the breakfast club movie yeah. and they're kissing and all the butterflies and i made a joke to christopher the other day i was like oh oh how i'd feel to feel those sparks again from a new relationship oh, totally. I joke with and, he was, and he was like i feel them every what did he say he said he felt them every time something and i was like bullshit you do not yeah you know what i mean but i do know when chris and i don't see each other for a while we, I kind of feel that nervous sparkness. Yeah. But I think some people are always trying to chase that, mm -hmm. which is you're never going to be happy mm -mm. if you're constantly chasing that like quick spark. Cause you know, that's just what serotonin levels spiking in your system that will go back down. Like yeah. work out if you want that feeling. Yeah. You know? And when guys are in the right place to settle down and be with someone that they love, they don't, usually do stuff like that so correct i hate to I say that as well but like either he's not in the right place or he doesn't love you enough i know that's fucking horrible to this, say and it's well, horrible to hear and it's Karen. not necessarily you it's that he's not done chasing whatever he's chasing therefore he is not in the right place to be in a committed 
moving forward through all the good and bad, through all the no butterflies and the fighting and whatever Correct. may happen. Oh, what was it? Yeah. So if you, when you are with a man and you are enough, you, that's all he needs, no matter what. Yeah. Right. Uh, there was something that I read today. I hope I saved it. It was so good. Um, they were talking about your soulmate, right? Oh, let me just, let's see if I saved it. I'll have to try to find it. Well, this one right here says flirting is cheating, linking up and hiding messages from your partner is cheating messages, messaging other motherfuckers behind your partner's back is cheating. Once you start hiding, deleting and putting shit on do not disturb, it's cheating. I don't have, it doesn't have to be physical. Yeah. Like, don't get it twisted. Um, well, yeah, I'll have to try to find this because it was really, really good. Um, but moral of the story, if you have that feeling enough to reach out on the Broettes uh, page and, uh, and lay it all out there. Mm-hmm. If you're feeling that bad enough that you need other people to tell you, that's you already kind of know. That's a sign Your enough. Um, and then if there's advice in there that you feel like you want to try, carry on. If not, a bye bye. Yep. Oh, um, that hurts my heart. All of that. I know, dude. Because we've been there. You've all we've all been there in that place where you're thinking that it's you that you're trying to figure out if you're doing the right thing were you actually the bad one that went through his stuff was it your problem was it yeah. you know well you know how they made back in the day they used to make you feel bad about that mm -hmm. like you're the one that went through, through my, my stuff phone, like, it's like are you fucking kidding huh? yeah like, <laughs> yeah but it'll get you for a second and then you're like oh well, then i would be like well then when you told people that you found out someone was cheating they'd be like oh how how and then you were like oh i went through his phone <gasps> And that what, was you, more, what I would never like that was more yeah. cringe to someone else than cheating. It's like, not seriously? anymore. We kind of were like, yeah, you yeah, go but through back shit. In what was it back in 2013, 2012 when I got cheated on? What, like when I told people like I went through his phone for the first time, people were you like, what? you did what? And it's like for the first time. And yeah. look what I fucking found. Yeah, exactly. His phone <laughs> exactly. was going off at 2 a.m. Uh, but anyways. yeah. Oh, well. You know, but you'll get through it. Yeah. Believe me, both of them will figure yeah. it out one way or another, whether they stay with these people and try and work it out or they get rid of it. And it could your make it could make your relationship stronger in the end because you both are, you know, like people could make be, people beware. make mistakes or it could end it and you can find someone better who really fucking loves you. who would never do that to you. And you'll look out for the signs that you that you missed didn't the look first out. Time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it all just evolves and moves on. Yeah. So. So either always, you're gonna work it out always a positive always a positive we do have a very special mm -hmm. broette of yep. the day of the week um it's more of an update but what do we have tiffany yeah so uh back on matt bet's matt best episode um 12 i believe we shouted out ma sherry her son cj hayes um submitted her to us and basically just to kind of refresh your guys' memory she was diagnosed in 2018 with breast cancer and she fought through it and she rang the bell for her last radiation treatment and then in october of last year she had her gallbladder removed and it was discovered that breast cancer had metastasized in her gallbladder which was extremely rare and also had found its way to spread to her eyes and she was like the rock for her family no matter what even going through this and so he hit us up after they heard about the episode and said that they all watched the youtube episode <laughs> together and that they all they cried about it oh at the end God. which like me and that was a yeah. high i think that w that was like in the sixteen thousand like viewership so that a lot of like, people heard, a lot of people heard that one. yeah a lot of people heard about her which is awesome i know so CJ just reached out with an update and he just said, I want to thank you guys again for making my mom um, drinking broette of the week. She had unfortunately lost her battle to cancer on June 1st and she continued to smile until the end. Her spirit was never broken whatsoever. She was so happy to listen to the dedication you guys did for her on the episode. So again, I just want to thank you guys onward and upward. So I'm so glad. Oh, I got chills and I'm going to cry. <laughs> I'm so glad we did that for her because if anything that is like something so small that we can do to really just emphasize and praise someone so amazing who's been through so much yeah you know and 
just like I told you. And that's why we do it. I mean, we I do it for moments like that, for you guys reaching out to make you guys feel good. We're not always going to say or do the right thing, and we're not yeah. experts on anything. We're just two girls talking, trying to keep you company. If you if something resonates with you, good for, you know, we feel good about that. Yeah. Um, and if someone has a moment like that, that makes our... I mean, that kind of makes it all worth it, it to me, it like thinking it. about him and his mom watching that. I know. Um, really is why we do this. And it is it's a hard time right now. And um, it is, you know, our last episode was kind of fun and we want to take you guys away from the craziness. But at the same time, we have to address what's going on. So, yeah. Um, and keep it real, you know, keep it mean? real. Like, so we're just saying how we feel and you may not agree or whatever, but that's fine. We're going to try and, you know, partly keep it funny, keep it fun so that we're not always, t you know, talking or thinking about things that are hard, but we also have to give, uh, you know, air to the moment that's happening right now. So absolutely. we're just going to kind of have that be what we do, learning more and more about everything that's happening right now, educating ourselves. And trying to just inject a little bit of that into the episodes coming up until, you know, till we solve racism. No. <laughs> um, until, until we solve all the problems. Until we solve problems. it, yeah. But, <laughs> you know, that's kind of, that's all it is. That's all we're doing here is yeah. two friends talking. And if yeah. you want to hang out, we come hang it. out. Yeah. Do we have new product oh, for <laughs> our listener we might uh or so might. one of the besides t-shirts like the number one thing you guys asked was stickers i'm so in love with these and <laughs> okay so you know i had to get the holographic had to ones because we keep i got it fun. holographic lady boner and big to energy ones which are so f in this fun font that's all like shimmery and shit so awesome this one's Very awesome because it's just binder which i love it is right <laughs> yeah like lisa frank yes <laughs> This one's just like the drinking broette logo, which I is like pretty cool. One. And it's then this one's like the weird one, but you guys want this. I'm into it's it. Look. Our faces on it, like our logo with her, Jesse and I. And so basically they're going to come in a four pack. You guys can buy them in a four pack of all, like, you know, all four. Beautiful. And it's going to be cheap, whatever. But Go to AmericanHeart. Um, yeah, dot co. Dot co. It's still dot co. I, I gotta pay for it. the dot com. I gotta just drop the moolah on it, you know. I don't mind it. People are finding it. Yeah, they it's are. Not that hard. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, no. but yeah, we'll have that. So that'll be that's for now. I'm excited for that. I know you can never so, go wrong with stickers. No, maybe I'll put some on this bottle right here. There you go. Oh, that a was big a, old lady boner. Look at that liquid IV. Big when I got that, underneath. I was like, right? oh, I love this thing. It liquid IV on. promo code Broettes. Mm -hmm. Um. Anyways, guys. Well, happy whatever wednesday happy Thursday. fucking week happy fucking week Let's we're get in to the june weekend. we're in the sixth phase of jumanji people <laughs> <What>? <laughs> fuck that shit you never heard about that yet? no people are joking about how 2020 is the year like literally fucking jumanji is going on with like Dude, you know like the is. deadly hornets and like just all the other stupid shit going on just bitch. crazy you're shit. right you're right so since we're in june we're in the sixth six uh <laughs> phase of i love it i love it Oh, uh, follow us on Facebook, Instagram. Well, no, I almost said Snapchat. If you want to cheat on, if you want to cheat on your knock, <laughs> there you go. On Snapchat. Follow us on WhatsApp, uh, TikTok, yeah. and if you want to join the shit show, follow us on fucking Twitter. Blammo, blammo, blammo. We'll see you later. Bye. Yeah, you've been watching every move and plotting your next move on every girl on move. Yeah, don't y'all better things to do